Today we're going to put a little bit of fun in the functional. I'm going to throw a, a donut. Now it's not something you'd like to eat, but it's going to be just a hollow tube vessel and we're going to play with it later after it's thrown. So to throw your donut you want to have a, you want to center a short fat piece. Now I talk about centering short fat pieces if you check out the dinner plates. Uh, I do a large platter and dinner plates and I talk about how to throw and center flat things. I'm not going to tell you here. Now I've got it centered. If it's not completely centered, you notice I did cut it with the needle after the wheel spun around and the needle stays still, it will be centered. And I have a nice flat piece. As I mentioned, I want a donut, so the hole has to be gone. So I'm going to open up and go right down to the wheel head. And I'm going to start pulling toward myself. Again, um, I explained this in the platters and the dinner plate videos, have a look, but I'm going to pull this to myself. As I said in that video, the clay has the speed it wants to go. Just go at the speed the clay wants to go. It'll let you know. I'm going to pull that to myself. And now I've got a nice centered donut, but it's, it's solid. I want it to be hollow. hollow. And I'm going to just open it up. I'm going to open it up in the middle. What's going to happen is it's going to bring up two walls that are parallel and then I'm going to bring them together to have a, a hollow donut. I'm opening with my finger this way and my hand is compacting on the top. So I have control over the top of it and the opening. And then throwing any kind of pot, you want to make sure you don't go down too far and your bottom gets too thin. I'm going to throw the inside part first. Because if you throw the outside part first, it's in the way when you're throwing the inside part. So I'm going to throw just a tall little wall here. Now if you noticed I put on a fairly big piece, it does take a surprising amount of clay to make a good sized donut. So I've got the inside, top's a little thin and messy. I want it to be tidy. I'm just going to cut it off with my needle. And seal it up. Now I'm going to throw the outside. I'm going to leave these walls fairly thick because I'm going to construct something. To tell you the truth, right now I don't know what that something is. But you need enough clay there to withstand the construction and the sculpting process. So now I've got my two parallel walls. I'm just going to curve this one a little bit this way. And I'm going to curve the other one to seal it in. Before I seal it in, I have to make sure I get all the water out of there. Otherwise it'll make it. It'll all just fall apart. And now I'm going to seal this one in this way. And they should come together that way. Now I'm just going to, what I'm doing now is I'm throwing, kind of compressing them together. A gentle compression. I just brought the walls and I'm just going to kind of push them together a bit so they are joined. And throw that on the floor, tidy it up with my sponge, go over that join a few times and compact it to make sure it's joined and going to stay joined. You can sometimes get some cracking in the circle around there and we don't want that. So now I have a hollow little tube that I can play with later. I'm going to tidy it up a bit. Now I'm going to take a little bit out of the inside. But I'm just going to leave it there and off the outside and I can take that off or leave it. I usually take it off and then I put it in my little pile of goodies over here. So there's throwing a, a donut. 
Like I said, we'll come back and probably cut the foot off of it. But it's a really cool little vessel just waiting to be turned into something. You can, it's just fun to play with. Anyway, I don't know, like I said, what I'm going to do with it yet. But I will know when it's leather hard and after I've trimmed.